Hello, everybody. This is Susie Berry here from Serene Senses. And I am on today to give you a few tips on how to balance your energies using some energy balancing techniques, using even energy medicine, which is a really fantastic modality. I have been really lucky this past week to be going on to the Eden Energy Medicine Facebook groups where lots of my teachers and American teachers have been posting different videos online and um, I thought I'd just join in with that. Um, if you want more information, you can always go to innersource.net to find out about what Eden Energy Medicine can do for you. I'm not a fully trained Eden Energy Medicine teacher yet. I'm a practitioner. I do one-to-one -one sessions with people. Um, so today I'm just going to be doing generalized tips because everybody's energies are so unique and um, they're usually out of balance in a certain way. So we use kinesiology testing to figure out what those imbalances are and help you work with them. But because I am teaching to such a wide audience just now, I thought each week I'd deal with a different meridian and um, hopefully each, each week a different group of people will be impacted well. Um, some of you might get a lot out of today, some of you might get a little bit out of today. I hope that for everybody that tunes in that you will feel uh, a nice boost like me. I just got a lovely boost from Brett and Michael. Thank you for saying my hair is nice. It's one of the things that I've been doing to keep myself from going slightly mad. Um, I found a Facebook video at the start of this lockdown that showed you different things to do with your hair each day. So this is mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was um, part of keeping myself centered and that is essentially what today is all going to be about. It's about keeping yourself centered and keeping yourself grateful. So down the center of your body you have what's called the central meridian and uh, then the back of your body you have the governing meridian and the two can join um, just at the top and bottom of your lips. And so basically the work together as what's called the microcosmic orbit. Um, it's a beautiful energetic field working to keep your body together and um, when you are a zygote the very first cut that was made as a zygote was a split in the center. So that's the split that we're going to be working with energetically to connect the back and front of your bodies um, to make sure the energy is flowing gently and to really give you a boost. Um, now, usually when you feel like other people's energies are encroaching in on you and um, you can't really focus well, it's because your central meridian is, is collapsing down. It's not being as radiant as it can be. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with today to really give you a nice boost because at the moment so many people are feeling that need to really collapse in on themselves and um, the world does not feel like a safe place. So we want to make sure that it is by the end of today. So today I'm going to start off with working with your central neurolymphatics. So they are right here where your shoulder and um, your torso join on either side. So we're going to start off with one of them. So just massaging them as deep as you can. And now it can be quite painful. And um, if it is, then it generally means that you need it. <laughs> um, but you don't want to cause yourself a lot of pain. So if it's too tough, then do it little and often. Or you can massage gently just by tracing figures of eights and um, just joining up the, the figures of eights. In, in your auric field. Really enjoying um, working with your neural lymphatics can be difficult at first, but the more you do it, the more that um, you'll appreciate that lymph flowing. Um, you can move over to the other side, um, because after a while, if you do it enough, 
then it will stop working. <laughs> if you've got um, somebody there with you in lockdown, you can always just get them to lie you on the floor and gently just press in and push back on your shoulders because so often lock them are we're really like this and so just getting that pull back and push push back in and allowing that limp to float really around this whole area and then just coming along the top of your collarbone you're going to work so in here we've got the, the governing your lymphatics so just it's working along here underneath the collarbone you can go from the centre of your collarbone out and just pressing up and under. Really just working that whole area as much as you can and breathing deeply. And I was watching Claire Willocks yesterday and a lot of her video was really on noticing the importance of smiling so even if this is sore smile through it and it will help okay and you can just gently tap all around that area just break up the muscle a wee bit okay now what I'm going to say um, throughout the course of this video, I will be touching my face. Um, I have washed my hands. My hands are clean. If yours are not clean, you can always pause it <laughs> and come back. Um, you um, need to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. The whole point of this video and this whole series of videos is all about self-care and um, really making sure that you're as healthy as you can be. So working with your central meridian, because it goes from your pubic bone right up to your mouth, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of work pressing parts of the area around my mouth. So if you are clean, then go ahead and, and join me. If not, jump out and do that and then come back. Um, yeah, so I just, I wash my hands just before. I do. Um, so the next bit we're going to go on to, um, you're going to be holding on to your belly button with your third eye. So you're going to show you the video. So I'm going to push in where my belly button is and pull up with my third finger. Okay. I'm going to be holding like that there. And at the same time, I'm just going to be gently placing one finger onto my, my third eye and pulling up gently. So what this does is connect your central and covering meridian. And um, the affirmation that goes along with your central meridian is I center myself in spirit. Um, so yeah. It's quite an interesting one. You can think about what that means for you. I quite like holding this position um, either when waking up or, or going to sleep um, because it really helps me just center myself at the start of the morning. And um, you're also stimulating the governing meridian and the affirmation that the governing meridian is I am grounded in gratitude. So I usually think of a few things I have to be grateful for. Um, so today I'm, I'm grateful for various people for, for tuning in. Um, I'm grateful for Facebook for giving me the opportunity to actually um, do this stuff um, and for have friends that are willing to, to watch me. <laughs> um, and I'm grateful to, to be able to have a home that I am I'm comfortable in right now. I have so much to be grateful for actually. Um, and I know this time in lockdown, a lot of people are feeling like that is not the case, but it can be really helpful to keep a little gratitude journal of um, just the fact that you've got water to drink. You know, all the little things in life can, can pile up and be really helpful. 
Um, so you're going to hold here for quite some time. Um, I usually hold for about 20 seconds or so, um, but I'd like to just get you to really ground yourself in gratitude. And um, I know it's really difficult to connect with spirit when you are watching an online video, but just take a few deep breaths and think about what that really means for you, what it means to connect to your higher self. And then just gently bring your top finger from your third eye right over your head and you're just going to press in the back of your head just where your neck and your skull meet there and feel a little hollow and um, I'm just going to hold here for a little while and um, so one of the great things about um, connecting your central and governing meridian is that it can also reduce your snoring levels so if you find that you don't snore tonight or if your partner finds that you're miraculously cured of your snoring then i would love to hear about it and um, i've used this technique um, on the client that i was working with that did the rabbit hole a few years ago and i was very happy to find out that i did not have to wear my earplugs in the morning after when our tent was next to me so this is really important just to remember just like all these hookups it can seem so simple but actually it's really really powerful and when you feel like you're really shifting sometimes you might feel a slight pulsation in your fingers or your hands if you do reiki you can always imagine light coming through your hands or you can imagine the symbols working through your hands And um, a little story that I'd like to share with you about the importance of hookups involves my old dog. So um, Digger was having lots of epileptic fits a few years ago. And you're going to move your hand just to the very base of your sacrum. So just here and just hold the sacrum and the top of your, your um, neck and head at the same time. So while you're holding here, um, the reason I picked this, this point is um, recently I was just uh, on the Eden Energy Medicine Facebook page and one of the, the teachers there had mentioned that she did this for her dog um, during fireworks night and it, it calmed it down a lot. Um, I had actually did the hookup with the belly button and the third eye on my dog uh, when he was having an epileptic fit a few years back and it totally stopped straight away. Um, so. It can be really, really powerful. Um, I also had somebody faint in a workshop and was holding the hookup points to bring them back from a faint. So just really allow yourself to appreciate how something so simple can actually be really powerful. Um, sometimes you might feel big energy shifts, sometimes you might feel nothing. Um, it's really important when you're doing when you're working with energy medicine to just start off just checking in with your body seeing how you're feeling just now and um and then check in afterwards once you've done different bits and pieces i'm going to move my finger back around use my belly button and keep it on, on my head and take a nice deep breath in and let go okay right so now we've done all the hookups um, so each individual video that i've got um, you can find different energy medicine teachers on youtube showing the exercises individually i've got quite a few myself if you go to sewingcenses.co.uk on my blog page there's tons of different videos that you can use yourself with there um, and tonight i'll be doing a little meditation if you just want to chill out so um 
Next, we're going to go on to um, working with tracing, tracing your central meridian. So, a lot of um, a lot of the classes that we do, we're just usually zipping up the energy in the central. But today, because I feel like a lot of it's a probably taken in tons of stuff and um, really overloaded in media um, and one certainly have over the past week. I'm going to flush that out um, first of all. So put yourself up on your feet and then um, just rub your hands together. And you're just going to imagine everything that you don't want to hold on to and you're just going to push that in and just exhale as you let go. Just letting everything go. You can imagine pushing it right down to your feet. Up into the air. Yeah. Letting everything go, just pushing it all away. Giving your hands a good shake. Okay. And then just bring your hands together at your pubic bone. Put your neck back. And you're going to breathe in and trace your hands straight up your center. And breathe out. Again, just breathe in. And and then coming up the back of your body and go straight up. Okay. If you don't join, then you can always just imagine a color connecting your hands, bringing your hand right over your head. And zipping that in. And the same on the other hand. Lock in all that goodness. Okay. 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 So whatever feelings come up, just allow yourself to be with them. You might notice um, you have kind of gargles in your stomach. You might start to notice tingles in your hand. Um, I tend to work a little bit. Um, some of you might feel different emotional shifts. They're all totally fine. And um, just let yourself be with it. Let yourself go because it's like you're shifting energy here. Something's moving. So whatever way your body reacts to that, let it go, let it be and, uh, and work with it. Um, work through it. You can always comment if, if something really weird is happening. You can always say, that's supposed to happen. And I'll probably say, well, there's no such thing as normal. <laughs> Energy will always find its own way to move uniquely through every person because every person is, is unique. So, um, Uh, yeah, so we can also, so I flushed out down the front, the other, it's kind of hard to flush out down the back, but you can just imagine that you've got a waterfall just coming down over your head and just imagine that water washing away any gunk from your back, just letting it all go. Anything that you don't want to hold on to. Give yourself a nice shake. Okay. Then we can zip in the goodness up in your head. Okay. Now another hookup that I didn't teach right at the start is it's called the thinking man's hookup. What you're going to do is put one hand on the top of your lip, and the other under the kitchen, and put the other um, 
and put it on the back of my head. Amen. So what this does here is you're connecting your central um, meridian, just stimulating the acupressure point underneath your chin with your governing, which is stimulated at the bridge of your nose. What you can do to, to expand upon this, just put the tip of your tongue onto the roof of your mouth and just hum gently. Or imagine if you were to make an ohm sound, but just do it through your mouth chat. So that tip of the, your tongue on the roof of your mouth, it's actually stimulating that connection internally as well. And actually as babies, we naturally knew to stimulate that by pressing in up there. And so, because that part of our body was still connected with the baby soft spot, we were actually pressing gently on the top of the head. That's why children do that. It's so, so good for them. And it's actually still good for us as well. I don't really want to be sucking my thumb live on Facebook though. But if you want to go to bed and suck your thumb, I would not judge you at all. <laughs> um, so the next um, thing I'm going to work on is uh, the governing and central alarm points. So when these uh, meridians have um, a chronic issue, the acupressure points um, that we, we know in Indian energy medicine as alarm points start to, to flare up. They, they don't energetically test the way that they, they should naturally work. Um, so one of the ways to get them to balance out is just by gently massaging around the area. So you can just gently stretch out the skin of your chin. Again, only do this if you've got clean hands just now. Both for hygiene during COVID and also because it's not good for your skin if you're working massaging the area when they're not clean. So just stretching out right underneath your chin. And you can just get the pill on the area. Just, just stretching out your neck muscles and now letting that area a little bit of space to breathe. And then you're going to do the same with your top lip. <laughs> this gives, gives it a little bit of myofascial release. And another great thing when I'm working with people doing myofascial release, working on their central meridian, um, I can't really show it with the dress, but um, what you would do, um, you would start just on a few inches below your belly button and just drag up. If you've got, um, if you can do this on skin, it's much better. Um, but just drag up towards your belly button, hold there, and just keep on pulling straight on up until you reach the diaphragm. When you get to your diaphragm, you're just going to pull with your other hand and just gently 
move your finger together so you're pulling the skin apart and you're just going to work right up just continuing to just stretch your neck and then give yourself a little pick nose so your central alarm point is right on the end of your nose so just giving yourself that little pig nose really helps boost that central meridian and you can give yourself a slight tug on your hairline again just give yourself a little pig nose to stretch out the fascia and you can draw little figure of eights Any of your nose. Actually, I'm just going to come right down and draw a figure of eights from your nose over your lips and then your chin. And one of the ways to know that your central meridian is is flaring up and needs this tension is if you've got chapped lips. Um, so it can be really helpful to, to just do little figures of eights over your, your lips when you're putting on the hammer and like that. And make sure that you're using a good one without any carbons and so on. Um, right. So stretching out your neck muscles. So you want to just put your head over to one side. And you can just press in gently against your hand. Hold it for the 10 and release. Again, just pressing gently against your hand. Nice. And do the same on the other side. Pressing gently against your hand. You can make bigger rates with your head. Your neck. Give your neck a little thank you. Just give it a good rub, keeping your head held high. You can stretch out your hair muscles. <sighs> So now we're going to go on to just pulling out the energy at our head. So you're going to push in and with each um, breath, you're going to push in with your fingers and just pull apart as you breathe out and put in as much pressure as you can. And just breathing in. And breathing out. Yeah. Line. Because energy needs space to be able to move to work. So this is giving your central and governing meridians that space. You can imagine there being a line right down the center of your head and you're just allowing your head that space, letting go of any thoughts you no longer want to hold on to. Just breathing in. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just give yourself a nice little shoulder rub. that goes along with um, central, the general affirmation is uh, I center myself in spirit. And um, Prune Harris, when she was teaching me all of the, the radiant circuits, she came up with the beautiful set of affirmations. And um, for me, um, 
the affirmations that she, she came up with for Sandra has been really powerful for just now because she said that what she feels with the central is I'm, sent, I'm protected and cradled in the womb of the world. And I think that's just such a beautiful, poetic thing to say. Um, so um, I'm going to get you to just do a, a, a very calming type of, of hooking up. Um, you're just going to place one hand onto your, your abdomen and the other onto your chest. And um, just hold on to that thought for a little while. Because I know for a lot of you out there, the world is, is currently a scary place and um, you're not feeling protected or a cradle as such. But um, through the magic of technology, we can all be there for each other and, um, and have a lot to be grateful for. Um, the affirmation that goes along with um, the governing that Bryn Harris came up with is I'm inspired to shine brightly. So um, if any of you need a bit of inspiration over the coming week, then feel free to message me through Facebook and um, we will be happy to give you inspiration and whatever that means for you. Um, so you can shine brightly wherever you are. So just take a few nice deep breaths. Just reminding yourself that despite everything that's going on outside right now, you have the ability to be watching a Facebook Live video. So that is one way that this world is creating and protecting you. So one of the, the first videos that I did in this series was about triple warmer and uh, your triple warmer alarm point actually sits along your central meridian. So it's right here. And so you can put two fingers and a thumb together, place them right here. The other one is sitting on what's called your dantian, which is three inches below. So my belly button's here, it's a few inches just below. Um, and you're just going to hold here for a little while. So, um, as you hold here, um, you can feel that, that feeling of safety and that protection from the world pulling up from inside. Um, so your triple warmer is all about your inner warrior keeping you safe. And uh, just take a moment to really appreciate that your triple warmer has been working together with your central meridian to keep you safe. You're here now and alive and people watching this video, so that's great. <laughs> and um, yeah, now you can, can enjoy what it feels like to know what your central and governing meridians feel like when they're feeling boosted. So just allow that gratitude to flow through you. And then from which no, I was gonna I was gonna move on to the next thing, but I've just had a slight energetic shift internally that makes me think I should maybe get you to hold this for a little while longer. Really want your central and your triple warmer meridians working together. 
So you can just gently begin to move your fingers in a slight figure of eight, just massaging the skin of the of your neck. And then begin to do the same in your abdomen, just gently pressing in and moving your fingers, fingers in the figure of eight or an infinity sign. Breathing deeply. Okay, and then just keeping your bottom hand where it is, you're just going to bring your hands flat, your fingers and so, and you're just going to start to gently massage there, give it a good rub, and then bring your other hand just on top. Gonna rub all the way right up your center. Mm -hmm. And just stretch out your neck. Now, one of the points that I keep on coming back to is right at your thymus, right in the center of your breastbone. So um, this point here is really important acupressure point. So um, you've got your thymus in here, you've got your um, circulation sex, pericardium alarm point. It's also along your central meridian. So I'm going to get you to, to rub right here. Simulate that. Give it a good thump. Now your thymus really helps to boost your immune system. So at the moment I would say it's really good to just give this a good hard thump at least once a day. If you want to, you can always go in like a gorilla. You really or you can just bring in your knuckles and come right up and down your the breastbone. That's not too sore for you. And you can just give yourself a little bit of my pressure release and along your, your breastbone, pulling that back. So the other thing that you can do to help with a neurological crossover that involves another, what well, would be a governing point, it um, helps to connect the left and right side of your brain. So you're going to bring your finger up to your third eye and just pinch on either side and two fingers and a thumb to your temple. And again, this is helping to connect your triple runner, which is like your temples, together with your central meridian. And then just swapping over the other side. Again, you're focusing in on that feeling of safety and just reminding yourself of what you have to be grateful for today.
So another really important um, muscle that we've got that sits along our central meridian is your diaphragm. So you're going to bring one hand on with your left hand onto your diaphragm and your right over the top of it. And you're going to breathe in and pull in your elbows and push your hands against your diaphragm and just hold your breath. I'm going to hold mine for as long as physically possible. Okay, now when I was originally taught this exercise, I was taught to do it for just hold for 10 seconds and release. Um, the more that I've been practicing Wim Hof, the longer I've been able to hold my breath for. Um, and in the current situation, trying to boost your lung health using pranayama and um, breathing exercises like this, I think it's really, really super important. So if you can, Hold your breath for as long as physically possible and really push in uh, your diaphragm muscle to really strengthen it. So again, I'm just going to take a nice deep breath in. Okay, once more, you need to keep breath in. Pull in your elbows. So that little exercise, um, freeing the diaphragm, really strengthens that muscle. I would say breathing is probably one of the most important aspects of getting your health together. Um, so if you can, um, Wim Hof has a great app on his, um, you can download it for free, that teaches you how, some of his uh, breathing techniques and how to withstand the cold. Um, cold showers, they sound awful at first, they are not they're great and um, they really help to get your limit going. So as I was teaching at the start, these um, neurolymphatic um, points, they help to get your lymph flowing. The other ways of doing that are through, through exercise and um, massage and cold showers. So if you don't have somebody to massage you or you can't massage, yourself that deeply cold showers and, and breathing is the next best thing. So um, the other thing I don't have right now that I would normally have um, that helps me stretch out my governing meridian is a giant ball. Um, so I usually do back bends and stretches over the ball to really help stretch out my, my back but I can't go to the gym just now. So I've been doing different um, yoga techniques to try and get my back as, as um, stretched as possible. Um, so if you can um, try and look after your back health um, by doing yoga. Um, I've got a couple of yoga videos on the eye healing challenge that I did in that blog. If you go to swimsenses.co.uk, the blog page has a couple of yoga things um, that I'm not going to share here um, because I really think that the, the ball is the best thing. <laughs> um, I would say for the government, but you know, always just 
if you can, lie on the floor, kick, kick your feet out in front of you, stretch your arms up, and really allow your back to stretch as much as you can because right now we're probably all sitting at our computers like this. And just really take your time to stretch out, stretch up, touch your legs, and uh, yeah, give yourself a little bit of exercise um, each day as much as you can. Um, yeah, I really hope that you have uh, appreciated this video and got something out of it. If you want to learn anything more, um, I'll be doing a different meridian every week. Um, teaching how to boost your own vitality levels using techniques that I've learned from clean energy medicine, from yoga, and um, from Panayama. Um, so yeah, I'll, go. I'll do one little pranayama breathing exercise um, just to calm you down because it's really good. So at eight o'clock, I will be doing a guided meditation. And for meditation, you want to be able to breathe on the left hand side. Um, so this little exercise allows that to happen. It allows your breathing to be balanced out between one, one nostril and the other. Um, because the more you're breathing at your left hand nostril, the more relaxed you are and the more you can take in meditation. I've actually known that certain Zen masters will not preach to their pupils unless they're breathing from the left nostril. So this is a little um, pranayama exercise and um, obviously when you're breathing, you're doing nostril breathing, you're affecting your central meridian. The more you can breathe in and out through your nose in day-to-day -day life, the healthier you will be. So just remember that it's really important um, to take care of your, your nasal health. Um, if you have a neti pot, if you look, looked up videos for that, they're probably really good to do right now and to really look after your nasal, nasal health and your nasal pathogen. Um, so what you do, um, you're just going to bring your fingers like so um, and you're going to start off by closing your right nostril and breathing in through your left. Hold for a couple of seconds. Breathe in through your right. Breathe in through your right. Through your Now, if you just bring your hands up, just below your nose, like my neck, you probably find that left hand side of your nose is slightly stronger. I should have said to, to test that at the start, but hopefully you'll feel another shift there. If you don't, you can always practice that for a bit longer, or you can slow it right down. 
and the other week, the other thing we can do is um, to prop yourself up. So if you're if you're going to lie down, prop yourself on your right hand side so that your left is up, and you'll find that your your left hand clears a bit before you actually lie back down. Um, when you're doing meditation, it's best to lie on the left hand side or on your back um, to, to help with your, your heart. So, um, the other thing that you can do to really help your central and your governing meridian is um, pelvic floor exercises. So, um, they're quite they're almost impossible to teach by video. Um, you can always um, maybe look up different um, different videos for that. And I would imagine you should probably not with the pregnancy videos. Um, but basically, you're as you imagine how you would try to stop yourself from pain, um, basically clenching those muscles, and um, that really helps to strengthen your muscles. Um, when I was in Rishikesh, we were told to do that. 100 times a day as part of our pranayama class and um, so it really strengthens if you you have um, what Donna even likes to call a pilot light flickering at your root chakra and when that pilot light is, is turned on it, it sends energy up through the rest of your body so by strengthening your pelvic floor muscles making sure that those muscles um, are working the best they can just by um, clenching and releasing um, those muscles, kegels, um, or using a J-Reg if you, if you want to invest in one of those ones, so it's necessary if you could, um, then that really helps to get your whole central and governing meridian working as best as they can. Um, so I hope that's, that's been helpful for you. Um, be great to have feedback on how you're feeling. Um, I hope you're feeling um, centered uh, and spirit. Um, whatever that means for you, you know, it, it can be always really useful um, to journal when you're doing energy work. Um, so if you want to write down, I center myself in spirit and I ground myself in gratitude. And uh, each day you can write a little bit about what that means for you, um, how you connect in with spirit um, and your own higher self and what you have to be grateful for. Um, those are the two affirmations that the normal part of um, the energy medicine courses that we learn about. And Prue Harris, um, when she was teaching the game circuit, she Gave me the affirmation. I feel protected and cradled by the womb of the world, and I'm inspired to shine brightly. So you can write that down. So, what inspires you to shine brightly? I hope I have a little bit today. Um, I hope that after you watch this video, you feel more protected and cradled by the womb of the world, and you can go out and protect and cradle those near you, give them a call. Um, and we'll yeah, see everybody if we can. So I'm going to finish by giving a few little love hearts, the strong love over your face, over your forehead, into your chest. A couple of love hearts there. Draw some love on your legs. And then just a big love heart. It's all of you. Thank you very much for watching. So if you have enjoyed it, then you can always. Um, just share it if you, if you can't uh, donate anything, but if you can, then uh, you can go to PayPal. My uh, PayPal is suzannejoeberry at gmail.com. Or if you really enjoyed it and would like a one-to-one -one personal session, then if you go to patreon.com forward slash serene senses, then you can set up a way to get personalized sessions um, each month. Um, I'm doing a movie just now. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye.